I want Reflections to be an opportunity to commit to regular devotion and discernment on how we can grow as disciples and make disciples in the midst of tension in our world, at our jobs, in our churches, and yes, even in our homes. Hello, I'm Bishop James E. Swanson, Sr. Join with me today in reserving some quiet time to reflect on what insights and direction God's Word can provide for us. I hear this word from uh, the Apostle Paul uh, in Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. But when the time had fully come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born on, under the law, to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption uh, as the children of God. This, 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 this revelation by the Apostle Paul uh, fully uh, captures my uh, imagination and, and, and holds me because what you got to understand is here's Paul, an Israelite, who is really be, uh, giving us a peep into his his um, his mind and how he is is processing what is going on uh, uh, after his conversion experience and moving from being an uh, an Israelite or a, a Jewish worshiper uh, to becoming a Christian, and he's seeing that in all of the history of God's dealings with the Israelite people, um, that God had been working and moving Israel and the world to the very moment of the cross of Calvary uh, so that we all might be adopted as the children of God. And just think about all the disappointments, uh, not the disappointments uh, that we might have uh, done uh, about you know, unto ourselves, but how many times humanity had disappointed God in that whole process ever since the fall, and and how God had, had this whole wonderful plan worked out, and yet God lovingly and patiently continued to work to bring us to the point where the Son of God would come and be born uh, to redeem us uh, from the sin that enslaved us and stopped us really from flowering and blooming uh, as fully human that God really uh, envisioned us to be at the very beginning of, uh, of the creation story. And, and, and Paul is seeing this and he's saying that it took all of that to get us to where we are uh, today and the wonderful grace that God showed to us even in the midst of our, our falling. Um, and, and here's the piece that really gets me. Here's an all perfect and all wonderful God who could have gotten angry uh, and said, let's scrap it all. Let me just start all over again with, with, uh, and recreate humanity to, to, to be what I really wanted to be. But God lovingly works with us uh, to get us to that point. And think about it. Let, let me flip it right quick to you. Uh, look at your life over a period of time where, where you are beginning even now or maybe haven't begun just yet to see the goodness that God is trying to create in you and inside of you and how God is patiently and lovingly doing this. And here you begin to see patience not as a weakness, but as a source of power, power to transform you uh, so that you can become uh, the best you that you can become in the fullness of time. When time was just right, um, everybody had not bloom at the right time. Uh, the various points and seasons when, when, when we all bloom. But God, who sees all, knows all, and who and I hope this doesn't offend you, but who fertilizes all, uh, knows when you will bloom. And in the midst of it, uh, doesn't get uh, wrathful or vengeful or angry with you because God loves you and that God will see you through it. Uh, so just remember, your fullness is coming and, and, and it is on the way because of the powerful patience of God. This is Bishop James Swanson once again just saying to you, uh, reflect on that, reflect on the fact that you have a God who is powerful but yet patient.